It's May, and that means it's High Blood Pressure Awareness Month. Right, but did you know that some people are being diagnosed with high blood pressure when they don't really have it? Susan Copen is here to explain what's going on. Susan. Yeah, there are seven common mistakes that are being made when patients get their blood pressure taken. For example, crossing your legs, a cuff that's too small, even talking can all lead to higher readings. You just take your medicine once a day? Just now. It's checkup day, and nurse Sandra Gilmore is making the rounds. Good, 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 good. Everybody's really nervous when they come to get their blood pressure taken. It's a good thing she checked the blood pressure of Anna Mae Smith. Her pressure was dangerously high. So they started treating me for my high blood pressure. A few years later, I had a triple bypass, and I believe she helped save my life by getting my blood pressure under control. After being a nurse for almost four decades, Sandra knows a thing or two about taking blood pressure. Don't drink coffee with caffeine before you come to see me. Both feet flat on the floor. I position their arm where the cuff is to the level of their heart. Um, if you have to go to the bathroom, please go so that you have an empty bladder when you come and basically just sit and relax. Take a couple deep breaths and relax. Hypertension guidelines recently changed. A reading of 130 over 90 or greater is now considered high blood pressure. But research has shown that if blood pressure is not taken correctly, those numbers can be falsely elevated. We actually set up a blood pressure booth that tested healthcare professionals' ability to properly take a blood pressure. What was interesting about it is that only three out of 30 participants could properly take a blood pressure. Dr. Sean Stocker is a hypertension researcher. He showed us the do's and don'ts of getting your pressure taken. Do not let your feet or arms dangle and don't slouch. So everything that I'm doing right now is wrong. Right, including talking to me. Right, okay. okay? So simply talking or using your cell phone can actually increase your blood pressure 10 to 15 points by itself. Don't smoke, exercise, or drink caffeine before your measurement. You should put your feet flat on the floor. Sit up straight in a chair with your arm elevated to heart level. And notice, I took off my jacket. We want the cuff directly in contact with her arm so that it's not positioned over clothing, a sweatshirt of any kind. Wrapping the cuff over clothing can actually add 5 to 50 points to your reading. A mistake like that could lead to... A diagnosis of you having high blood pressure when you really don't. And in that case, you might be prescribed drugs that you really don't need. And there is something called white coat syndrome. 30% of patients will have increased blood pressure just because a doctor or a nurse is in the room. And you should also have your pressure tested in both arms. And if you take your pressure at home, you should always bring that cuff with you to your doctor's office to make sure it's getting an accurate wow. reading as well. There's so much interesting information yeah. of things we're doing wrong. Okay, so how was your blood pressure? So normally my pressure is 120 over 70. And I'm always the person who's talking and dangling my <laughs> arms and kicking my feet. Uh, so when they actually had me sit in the proper position and they used a machine, not a human, to take my blood pressure, it was 106 over 63. So it wow. was it was less. Um, and what you should do if you go to your doctor's office and they're not taking it the right way based on these recommendations, mm -hmm. you may have to have that uncomfortable conversation and say, Susan Copen told me that yeah. <laughs> this is not the way we're supposed to do it. I'm supposed yeah. to be sitting down with my feet on the floor and don't talk to me. Worth right. it to get an accurate yeah, reading, right? right? Yeah. yeah. And tell them to watch your story online, right. kdka.com. <laughs> Thanks, Susan. All right.